Tonight, former Governor Rick Snyder is returning fire, taking aim at the Attorney General investigating his administration over the Flint water crisis. Seven investigator Ross Jones is here now with more on this war of words, Ross. Linda Allen, Rick Snyder has been mostly quiet since he left office in January, but last night he broke that silence in an uncharacteristic way. The former governor known for his positivity was anything but last night when he took to Twitter, responding to Monday's Associated Press report revealing that a search warrant had been signed seeking his phone and computer hard drive. The stories coming out about my state phone and computer are very sloppy and misleading, he tweeted. I gave my phone and all that stuff to the AG's office before I left office. Why the AG's office is executing a search warrant on itself, I cannot say. Signed last month, the search warrant seeks to get messages off of Snyder's state iPhone, iPad, and hard drive, and those of 65 other former and current government officials as part of the criminal probe into the Flint water crisis. The Attorney General's office says today that some of the evidence sought in the warrants had already been in their possession, but other items were never received. The Attorney General's office being, is being extra careful. Peter Henning is a former federal prosecutor and today a law professor at Wayne State. Even though some of this information was obtained with investigative subpoenas, the Supreme Court's made it very clear that if you want to get messages out of a cell phone, if you want to get into someone's computer, you have to have a warrant. And so I, they're being protective and maybe even a bit overprotective. In a statement issued today, Attorney General Dana Nessel's spokeswoman said, Mr. Snyder knows darn well why search warrants are being executed. It's the pursuit of justice for the people of Flint, pure and simple. Fifteen people have been charged over the Flint water case. Snyder is not one of them, and he has denied any criminal wrongdoing. Alan. All right, Ross, thank you. Well,